Hi, thanks for tuning in for this video. Today, I will show you how to create this cool looking shield logo in Illustrator. Although not intended, it kind of looks like a car brand. I will show you the full process from scratch and add some explanations as well. Before we start, make sure to hit the subscribe button to never miss a new video. If you want to learn more about creative apps and design, you're in the right place. Thanks. Let's get started. I started with creating three different circles and overlapping them as shown on the screen. Then, I used the Pathfinder section in the Properties panel to intersect them. This created the base for our shield. I then duplicated the new shape, turned off the fill, and enabled the stroke. I then converted the stroke to an outline by going to the Object menu, Path, and selecting Outline Stroke. This was duplicated again, moved southeast by a bit and created a blend of the two edge shapes by going to the Blend sub-menu in the Object menu. I then expanded the blend and merged the shapes together. Next up was intersecting the new blend with the shield base as shown on the screen, and converting it into a shadow by converting the fill into a radial gradient. Then I created the beveled edges by creating a stroke on the shield edges converting them to outlines, and splitting them into two. Using radial gradients again, I created an effect that looks as if light was shining on the edges from the top left corner. After this was done, I aligned them to the shield again, Now you can see me renaming my objects, which will come in handy later, when there will be many objects to select from. And now I'm creating a light reflection on the shield edge, again using radial gradients. In the middle of creating this design, I found out that I'm accidentally working with the CMYK color space. Notice the change when switching back to RGB space. After this was done, I started creating the circle pattern in the shield center, as shown on the screen. This was achieved by copying small circles over and over and aligning them to the shield center, where I deleted the unnecessary ones. I experimented with various effects on the circles, but in the end decided to keep them simply dark gray. I also utilized the mask with a radial gradient. Now onto the fictional logo creation. It is basically two rectangles that have been skewed by the shear tool and one of their corners have been fully rounded, as shown on the screen. Again, using radial gradients to create the reflection. And also strokes with a radial gradient to simulate bevel edges. Then, they were aligned to the shield and their size adjusted. Now it's almost done. We just need to finalize the dimensions and create drop shadows to add some depth to our illustration. The shadows were applied to the logo, shield edges, as well as the shield body.
Then, using, you guessed it, radial gradients, I created the metallic reflections. The shield logo is now done, all that remains is the background. I again applied radial gradients to create the light reflection effect. Notice how much better it looks when you enable the overlay transparency mode. You might need to duplicate the overlay layer to create the desired effect. One overlay layer goes above the logo to finalize the light environment. Selecting the right background color is all that's left. And we're done. Thanks for tuning in. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe to my channel for more content like this. Until next time.